Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. So as you can guess from the title, today we're going to talk about learning French again. I actually did a video like this before um, last year when I was back home because of COVID. So I thought that it was about time that I make the second part of it now that I'm back in Paris for good, <laughs> hopefully. So this is what we're going to do today. Also, before we start this video, I just quickly want to thank Link EOS for sponsoring today's vlog. So Link EOS is a US-based Europe culture center that offers language classes in 12 European languages with French being one of them of course in order to promote intercultural communication between Europeans and Americans. So if you're interested in taking one of Link EOS's courses the next one starts on the 4th of October and one really good thing about Link EOS is that they offer a wide range of classes from beginner to advanced and all of the classes are suitable for both European and American time zones based on the class hours that you will choose for yourself. Also another really good thing about Link EUS is that their classes are relatively small from two to five students per class um, which means that you get more individual attention from the professor and like this you can participate more in class than if it was a bigger class with more students. Last but not least if you're still in that period where you really want to learn a language or you really want to learn French but you're just not sure about committing yourself and committing your money to a full course. Link EUS regularly offers free trial classes for you guys to test out and to see for yourself if you think it's something that's worth your money. However, if you have already committed yourself to learning one of the 12 European languages that Link EUS offers on their website, the 10 week course costs 279 US dollars. That includes all the 10 90 minute classes, a digital course book, and the registration fee. So, once again, a huge thanks to Link US for sponsoring this video. I actually also have a discount code for you guys that I will leave in the description with all of the links to Link US's website. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video again. And without any further ado, let's get into the vlog. Hello guys, welcome back. So today I am meeting a friend in the morning and we're basically just gonna walk around and then look for a place to have lunch. But before we do all of that, I wanted to to answer some questions about learning French. So I asked you guys on Instagram, I think it was back in like June. Yeah, like a long time ago. So I thought that it's finally time for me to answer your guys' questions just before the, just before going back to school, basically. Is it difficult to understand French people talking in French? If you have a French teacher at your school, for example, who is not French, or if you're not used to like the French, French, French pronunciation, and you're only used to like your French teacher's accent, maybe, who is not a native speaker, then I think it's gonna be hard for you to understand them talking in French. But I think if you're like constantly like looking at resources online where you can watch videos of like French people talking in French, like for example if you're watching constantly like French movies or French TV series then I think it's not gonna be like a big shock also watching Netflix in French that's also pretty good so yeah just find French content that you enjoy watching so that you can learn and have fun at the same time <laughs> so yeah these are my tips on this topic I will see you guys later with another question and yeah talk to you later okay. thank you very much Wanna go out and face the cold, but it's a really good time for a monologue. Can let this pass, I find it hard to breathe. Time is up, the bell has rang, and it's really hard to understand. But losing you now is the only choice for me. Hello guys, 
welcome back. So today is Thursday and I'm actually meeting a friend today. We're going to... Actually, we were supposed to do a picnic, but it's currently really, really hot outside. Also, we're both kind of tired. So yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna do a picnic or if we're just gonna go to like a bar or something or a cafe to chat and to catch up. But before I head out, I wanted to continue this Q&A video about learning French. Are you learning it on your own or taking French classes? Honestly, I'm not really learning French anymore because I kind of already learned it. I don't think that you ever get to a point where you can say that you learned a language. As in, it's like finished and you have nothing more to learn because it's like an ongoing process. As long as you're alive, you're just constantly gonna learn new um, words or expressions. If you have watched my How I Became Fluent in French video that I posted back in um, March maybe, then you probably know that I went to like a bilingual high school. So I learned French in high school for five years where I learned all the grammar stuff and like the basic stuff that you need to know. So when I moved to France, I was already fluent in French. What I'm doing now is refining. Refining is the good word. I am refining my French now on my own, basically completely on my own. I don't really have to take classes anymore because while well, I go to university where all of my classes are in French, I interact with French people. So I am just learning it by like, communicating with French people and by having French classes where I constantly learn new words and expressions in a more academic setting. So I'm just like learning it by life, by being alive and living in France and interacting with French people. So that's pretty much it. So the next question is, you are amazing. Is C1 level hard because I need it in order to study medicine at Sorbonne? Like my level is C1 and I wouldn't say it's hard. It's just a lot of practice. It's just practice, practice, practice practice but I wouldn't say it's hard it's nothing is hard if you put effort into it and if you practice French is a language that just looks so intimidating because because like when you read it and when you listen to it it's just so different so it all depends on you nothing is hard by itself if there is a will there is a way <laughs> and a lot of people have done it before so I'm sure you can do it too how to adjust with the French pronunciation my tip is to observe and imitate I don't know if you guys have noticed before if you have ever listened to like any like if you have ever seen French people talk the way they talk especially in Paris is they don't open their mouth like when you talk in English you talk like you open your mouth and all of that but French is like you barely open your mouth and I think this is why it's so like hard sometimes to understand what they are like talking about because it's like they're just like murmuring like <laughs> so how to adjust with the pronunciation observe try to imitate the way like their intonation because it has like a rhythm to it like it's kind of like singing like it has kind of like a rhythm to it you just have to listen I think that these are all the questions that I'm gonna answer for now. Talk to you guys later and let's go for now. Hi, 
keep on it. So I think that this is going to be the last part of this How I'm currently learning French video The clips that you're going to see after this part of the video Were actually filmed last week Friday because I went out with some friends And it was just really nice We went to like Montparnasse Like um, the tower which is like the biggest um, Biggest oh my god English, which is like the highest building uh, of all Paris, but yeah, it was super nice So I really wanted to include those clips in this video even though I'm filming this on another day But before we do that, I wanted to answer two more questions about how I am currently learning French Somebody just sent me a question like French grammar <laughs> I'm not sure if she's asking like French grammar like tips or French grammar like how to survive learning it <laughs> I realized that I forgot to put my mic so I hope that you can hear me better now favorite shows or music in french honestly i'm not the best person to ask about french music or tv shows because i never really know how to discover it like i have some um, french friends who, who showed me a couple of like really good french artists so i cannot really tell you guys about french music but um about french tv shows i think i said this before in this video but i'm currently watching lupin and i honestly like french films i'm not the biggest fan of i was talking about this with one of my um Hungarian friends like French humor is kind of it's kind of dry for us like with my Hungarian friends were like we have like this um, Eastern European dark humor and a lot of French films are not like that like a lot of French films are really like dry and just not that funny for us I think what I can do is to like ask my French friends for like some like good French films and TV series if you guys are interested in like maybe watching a video on it or um, something of that sort that would be also good for me because I'm sure that there's a lot of things out there that I just haven't discovered yet so and so the last question is what should I start with if I were to learn French again from like zero what would I start it with I think I said this before in, in this video but French is just one of those languages that I think it's better if you learn it and a class or at least like an online class the grammar is just so complex and so complicated at times that I think you really need like a teacher to explain it to you unless you're like super smart and and you can figure it out on your own I wouldn't be able to do that so <laughs> yeah like I'm really glad that I learned it when I was in high school with like teachers who literally forced me to learn it if I were to learn French again I would definitely start by signing up for an online class seeing a private teacher even honestly Honestly, what you should start is commit yourself to it I think that's the biggest thing for a lot of people like what you need to start with is like committing yourself to it like in your mind like deciding that you're really gonna do it if you're signed up for an online class but you are not committed to it on in your mind that it's just not gonna work out so what you should start with is mind control <laughs> so yeah just try to convince yourself to do it if you really want to do it and then take action sign up for a class and then show up for a class and do your homework that's also my problem with learning korean i'm just i have the books i'm just not committed yet yeah i just don't feel the inspiration yet but i'm sure it will arrive anyway this video is not about me um but yeah i think that's all i have to say i hope that you guys found this video helpful i tried to do my best to answer your questions questions as honestly as I could. If you have more questions feel free to leave them in the comments I will try to um, go through them and answer you guys. We're gonna finish up with um, the clips that I filmed last week um, when I went out with my friends so I hope that you will enjoy them and see you guys in a bit! Please, because 
because she's on vacation so I came to water her plants and she's so cute she left me like all of these notes about like the flowers like which flowers I mean their plants like which plant um should I water and like how much water I should put on them and she left me like a vine on the table <laughs> she left me a note like if you want to chill on the balcony I left you some vine and <laughs> it's just so cute so, so I think I'm just gonna chill at her place <laughs> in her empty place for a while and then I'm gonna head out to to the rooftop party hope you guys are doing well, I'm gonna go. See you later. that this is the end of this video thank you so much for watching again just again please make sure to subscribe to this channel i like this video if you enjoyed watching it also huge thanks again to link us for sponsoring this video don't forget to check out their website for all the useful links in order to learn french i hope that you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys again next week bye this is where I'll be found.